Please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and select the all features so you can see all my future content like Baki coming up. I do not own Baki the Grappler. Please support the official release. What is up, my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy, Sosa Pones, coming at you with the 2020 Netflix Season 3 review of Baki, the Grappler, the Raitai Tournament Saga, and Muhammad Ali Jr. arc. Oh my god, I am so excited about reviewing this for y'all because I've been looking forward to this. This is literally my favorite arc throughout the entire Baki story and series. Literally the best part, in my opinion. I want to know in the comments which y'all's favorite is. And if you've already seen it, let me know. I binged this whole thing for you to be able to bring you this review with clips. We're going to be playing clips like this. And I am utterly exhausted from binging this whole entire thing, but I did it and I was able to find a recording device to be able to bring y'all this clip because it's very hard to be able to download anything off of Netflix. Their software is very good for that, but I was able to figure it out for y'all. Now, unfortunately, I do have some bad news that the dub for the English did not come out. It's only the Japanese with English subs. That's really unfortunate, but they said because of the whole, you know, virus that shall not be named the Voldemort thing, <laughs> that they couldn't do the dub. So unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that, but I am going to be putting in clips on the Japanese part, and I will be reviewing the dub and the voices and everything like that, and I have lots of strong opinions on a lot of the dubs. They made some bad changes, have some bad voices on there, but I want to stay positive throughout this whole entire thing so i'm gonna break it down for y'all how they did i have lots of interesting thoughts so hopefully y'all will smash that like button and also share this around with everybody that you know make this thing go viral as much as possible i would really really appreciate it on facebook twitter your groups private messaging all that stuff and tell them to do the exact same thing i asked you to do subscribe hit the bell for notifications and select the all features so you can see all my future content like baki coming up <laughs> Also, make sure you check the links in the description and the first comment. That'll be a whole bunch of good stuff that I've also made, like a Ujiro respect thread with different anime clips and manga panels on all that, all that stuff. It's really, really, really good. There'll also be tabs at the end of the video that you should definitely check out as well, like an interview with Geekdom101, the Dragon Ball Z aficionado of YouTube, all that stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. It starts out introducing Muhammad Ali Jr. with Yujiro. And I don't mean to start out on anything negative. I don't mean to at all. Believe me, there'll be plenty of positive. But unfortunately, I find Yujiro's performance, especially in this scene, a little bit underwhelming. He is supposed to get livid whenever Muhammad Ali Jr. basically mocks him, saying that he's glad that he didn't get hurt when they ended up fighting and saying that him laying down is ridiculous and all that stuff. And he shakes the window and everything. I think they should have made it a little bit more dramatic for Yujiro's voice. And instead, they just made him grunt, you know, super loud and grit his teeth, you know, it really uh, intimidatingly, but not that loud. And I think Yujiro needs to get a lot louder on that part. But let me mention something positive for my review. The Baki scenes, they really do a good job focusing on the main character, Baki, which of course they should. But I'm telling you guys, pretty much every scene that he's in, especially when he gets dramatic in his fight scenes, are excellent they're all extremely well done great sound effects great emotional hits all that good stuff all the baki content in his scenes are absolutely amazing Kozway also does a really good job as well even though i absolutely hate her throughout this arc because she's such a little cheating you know female dog if you catch my drift gotta watch out for the youtube algorithm apologies but their scenes are really really good also, lots of other good things. Yujiro, especially in the dub, the, the Netflix dub. I love his voice in the original uh, DVD, the animes that was made back in the early 2000s. 
that was perfect, but they really just kind of over eviled his voice and made it too deep to be any comprehension and anything good or talent or anything like that in the Netflix dub, which I really, really don't appreciate. But like I said, I'm not trying to be too negative about that. Another thing that I for sure have to tell you about is that the animation is improving dramatically with every single season. Now, in the first season, they had quite a few bad glitches and scenes that was just inexcusable. They didn't even finish. You could tell they didn't even finish the series. They just tried to release it on the scheduled date, and they didn't even finish it all, like the uh, Dopo fight versus uh, Dorian, and that was just absolutely sad. And, you know, then you also have Katsumi versus Retsu whenever they're doing sparring for the school. It's just lots of bad stuff in there. And the second season had another dramatic improvement, and the third season gets even better. They really, really are getting good with this animation, guys. Almost all the fight scenes and the animation scenes were excellent, top notch. So, I, I mean, I dogged it really hard before on my previous channel, which I unfortunately lost. But, <laughs> yeah, they did all out great in this one. They are dramatically improving, and it is amazing. Let's go into another clip just to prove my point. Yeah. Now, sadly, I have to give another critique, unfortunately. They honestly don't include all the lines within the manga that are actually you know, put in the anime. They don't include them all. Like, it, one unfortunate thing is whenever Muhammad Ali Jr. is mocking Jiro, as I pointed out before, they just say, I'm glad this ended peacefully. Well, that's not what he says in the manga. What he says in the manga is a much more cool line, and they definitely should have stuck with that. He says, I'm glad you didn't get hurt, Yujiro, and that's why Yujiro gets so mad. But it doesn't make sense when he said, I'm glad this ended peacefully, and just walks away from that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And they do that a few times throughout the series. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they thought it would be better maybe the english dub will go back and fix those mistakes i certainly hope they do but unfortunately i don't think that they will they oftentimes make things just a little bit worse but they do have some good things about it don't get me wrong i'm not dogging it all as a whole but they miss some parts and that's really unfortunate that's just one clear example i'll try to come up with some other ones in the comments uh, just a few scenes here and there but it's not that bad it's just a little critique that i have to be honest about and honest, another critique that I have to give is that they seem to spend a little bit too much time on certain scenes. Like there's some scenes that we're like we're about to go over right now, like Baki and his healing and everything like that. They spend a long time on that. They spend a long time on other dialogues that don't seem quite as necessary. And then they make some of the fights even just a little bit shorter than they have to be. It would have been better if they had you know drawn it out, made the sound effects just last a little bit longer, the screams and everything. Just make it last a little bit longer to get more of a dramatic effect and feel for it i feel like they didn't exactly get not exactly the pacing but the uh specific timing of certain scenes correct and the sound effects and all that stuff but for the most part it's pretty good but they definitely are lacking in certain scenes right there but let's get some positive things in another clip Somebody. <laughs> Best condition no and a quick overview also of some of the other characters that I know a lot of people are interested in, like Keiku Kayo, of course. Did I like his voice and the way he was presented in the anime? I actually did. I didn't exactly agree with the voice choice, but it wasn't bad either. I give it like a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10, so it's a passing grade, and I'm definitely satisfied with it. It's just not exactly what I imagined in my head, and everyone imagines it differently, so that's just my personal take. You might disagree with that, and I completely validate everyone else's opinion if we disagree we're all baki fans we can get we can uh, agree to disagree on things and still appreciate the series for what it is so don't press dislike if you disagree with anything 
I'd love to have a discussion with anything you have to say or, or your opinions in the comments. I'd love to have it with you, and I can't wait to be able to do so. But Keiko was pretty good. Retsu Kayo does amazing in his role. I like the voice that he does for that, and they do a really good job displaying him. He's basically like the big brother to Baki throughout this whole thing, saving the day pretty much all the freaking time. Uh, Yujiro, you know, uh, of course, his action scenes are tremendous. Uh, I also love Oliver. I love Oliver. I like the voice better uh, in the Japanese part. The way that they, again, in the old series, they make him sound so sophisticated and smart, which he is, but they make him sound like that way. And in the Netflix dub, the English dub, they make him sound like a jiving stereotype, and I absolutely cannot stand it. And it, they seem to give him a more respectful voice, which is, you know, incredibly surprising whenever it comes to, you know, the actual Japanese dub doing that for a black character, if you catch my drift. I'm not, you know, they're not nearly as sensitive as America is whenever it comes to that stuff. And I'm not dogging them. I actually think I actually think they're better for that for not being so PC. But that's how it is over there. They can get really bad about that stuff sometimes. But they gave him a decent voice in this one, which I like. They have good animation for him as well. And uh, yeah, they really hulk out his character on it. But yeah, those are different different things on there. Just in general, everyone else is really good. The only one I had to complain about was Yujiro and the and the voice and everything a little bit underwhelming, a little bit too low key. And that's just my opinion though, and that's just because I critique it so hard because Yujiro, I'm such a big fan of his, and I think he needs to be a little bit more dramatic throughout things, but everyone else does a great job in that. But those are just my general thoughts on the entire series so far, interjecting with clips in there for y'all just so that y'all can get a small taste of it. I know a lot of people don't have access to the Netflix, unfortunately, and we don't want to pirate anything. That's why you have to support the official release stuff in order to be able to keep on getting this kind of stuff because they need to make money in order to be able to keep producing this stuff. But I'm going to be going into the general story and plot lines now and kind of giving a breakdown of my thoughts on the animation and voices and how they display different scenes and everything like that. So I'm going to be going into spoiler territory. I'm going to go ahead and assume you probably already read the manga and know what's going to happen basically. But in case you don't read the manga or anything, which you absolutely should, it's definitely more detailed and everything. I know I sound so cliche and a lot of people People don't want to read the manga but it's definitely worth the read but if you don't want to be spoiled now would be the time to go ahead and turn away just doing all that like subbing follow me on all my social media platforms you know the link in the description first comment do all that stuff you know before you leave but now's the time to turn away if you don't want to be spoiled but i'm pretty much i'm pretty sure y'all are okay with it and know what's going to happen so we're about to get into the spoiler parts with another clip in two one all right here we go All right, let's get into some more spoilers right now with the Rai Tai Tournament. We start out, of course, with the legendary scene that I, we already started the video off with, with Yujiro breaking the uh, bricks and facing off against Ryu Kaiyu. And man, it is absolutely savage. The anime is actually even more brutal in that scene than the manga is. Like, not by a lot, but by a little bit. And this, I like this anime. That's one of the things that's actually better than the original series because this one holds no nothing back it holds it gives no f's like at all like it holds nothing back and i really really like that and they definitely make this scene really really brutal and another really brutal scene is where keiku kaya where we learn that he is not like mr miyagi he kind of gives off that vibe if you don't know anything about him and you just see him on the screen for the first time he is not a nice dude. He is sadly disappointed along with Retsu on how low the quality of all the Kaios and their combat has been, especially in comparison with the Americans, which they don't want to secede the title of any Kaio for, and they don't want to lose to them at all. And he ends up chopping the hands off of the guys that are in charge of those monasteries. Like, it is absolutely brutal, and those scenes do are a big wake-up call on how big things are getting, how real the S is getting like it's it's super super cool look at this 
Of course, I just want to let everyone know I'm not covering every single inch of the story. I'm just giving general breakdowns and also the points that I feel that the story and the anime exceeded the most in. The parts that I found most favorable. So that's the main part y'all are interested in. So that's the main part I'm going to cover. Just for, you know, but if you have questions in the comments, I'll happily answer any of them. Just holler at me and I will happily answer any detailed one that you have. Anyways, let's get more into it. The Baki scene where he basically recovers, as I mentioned before, from the poison and the yin and yang poison. We, he basically is resurrected back to life and is able to be healed because the other poison hand guy has the opposite kind of antidote to the other poison that Yunagi had and works out really well and they do a great job dramatic and dr dramatizing those scenes and everything very very good emotional all that stuff with Retsu and Kozue especially working their magic in the background it's all amazing his recovery and he eventually goes on to absolutely be furious he wants to fight ends up beating the beast guy the son of Keiku Kayo and now let's focus on this guy right here because I love this fight between him and Oliver like and Keiku is dissatisfied with the Kayos and he once it had his son and his friend even though i thought correct me if i'm wrong i thought both of them both of them were his keiku's sons but maybe i just got that one wrong anyways uh this guy is a master of the dark arts and he takes on oliver and it's such a cool fight here's a perfect example of why this is such a cool fight <laughs> You see how good the combat is? The combat is especially good because the Dawn guy, he doesn't use power for power. He doesn't try to outpower him all the time. He's using, you know, all the sensitive areas like the eyes, eardrums, different things like that that actually would be able to take advantage of Oliver's weaknesses. He foot stomps because there's no muscles protecting those things. I absolutely love how this series throughout the whole entire thing keeps true to martial art principles and is smart. These people are smart. They know what they're doing on here. And this combat, this whole entire fight in the anime and the manga is absolutely brutal and amazing. And basically, Oliver is getting his butt kicked basically the entire time. But it's so worth it because in the end, he finishes, he finishes the fight off just like I would. You know, with a severe headbutt. Just the tough guy stuff right there. Staying true to his strengths. Even though he's extremely smart and he learns martial arts really, really quick on the fly. And learns his kind of dark art parking moves. He finishes off old school strength style and i really really like that because that's how i fight too the link in the description and first comment for some of my muay thai fights as well <laughs> Keiku makes his grand entrance as well by completely embarrassing this Muay Thai guy. Basically, he pulled down his shorts and flicks his uh, sack, if you catch my drift, and uh, just completely embarrasses him like that. And yeah, he's just an absolutely brutal guy. There's He has no respect for anyone else. And that's a, actually a surprising turn. I thought the Kayos would have had a little bit more respect for people, but they're no, they're just brutal. They just brutalize anybody that they want. And they try to, some of them are, you know, kind of like the Mr. Miyagi types, but no, they just go hardcore on pretty much whoever they want. So the, the tournament is continuing. We already had the Oliver fight, you know, Baki, you know, showing off his good skills and everything. Great character moments too great character moments as well that i absolutely love like yujiro you get to see a lot more about his personality that he's not just some you know brutal dictator that's just throwing around trashing people and you also get to see him and his son connect there's great character moments just like this one <laughs> Some of the other fight scenes, like with Retsu and Muhammad Ali Jr., they are what they are. They're good, but I don't think we need to spend too much time with them. Let's go ahead and get to the main course. That is going to be Yujiro Hanma, the King, the Ogre, versus Keiku Kai right there. Sorry about the phone interrupting. 
And their fight is absolutely tremendous, as we all expected. I will say that I think it went by a little bit too fast, but I don't think that that's really too much of a big critique in there because they still get all the moves in there. They still get all the good animation scenes. You still get all the drama. You still get the impact of it full-fledged. The music during it is really good, too. Throughout the whole entire series, the music is pretty good, too. Sometimes they didn't do it quite at loud enough. Sometimes they got a little too loud, and I don't know what the deal is. But, you know, it's just it's not that bad. It's still a really, really good fight. Like, they they do a good job, especially with Baki and Retsu in the background, uh, explaining the Shaori ability. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it in the manga. It's, per, it's spelled out differently. I don't know how you would even begin because it starts out with an X, and I don't know how you would go about saying that in the English translated to the Jap- Japanese. I don't know. Y'all can let me know in the comments and how to pronounce it if y'all want. But they do a good job explaining that one, especially showing Yujiro just learning it right off the bat. And, you know, Yujiro is just basically mocking him. But Yujiro is actually getting backed up in some scenes by this little old guy. And it's just, and Baki is just mind blown of how this is actually happening and how powerful Kenku must be. It's just a really, really good fight. I was tremendously pleased by it. And we all know the ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending for y'all, but they do a really good you know jestful kind of you know demeanor in the end kind of sealing up old wounds and talking about the tournament afterwards and it's just it's really really good i enjoyed those scenes then we have the muhammad ali jr arc and now i like jr as a character i like his ali combat martial arts style i like all that stuff i'm not too big of the story and plot though i'm not too big on that mainly because i like kozwe and baki and i like their love story and even they kind of fall apart in the end sort of kind of because of him and it just kind of proves that you know garden utensils you know spell it out h-o-e-s can't be loyal and it really kind of spells that kind of like now she doesn't go out and outright cheat or anything like that but it's still it's bad and i understand what it's like to be in baki's shoes it tears you up on the inside but you at the same time you just kind of like eh it is what it is at the same i get that and i really don't like that it kind of destroys what would look like such a great relationship it looks like just nothing can be maintained and ali is just being manipulative for pretty much that entire thing doesn't really care maybe he cares a little bit about her and maybe he genuinely likes her but still just being manipulative through the whole thing and i understand he did what he had to do but it's still kind of really really low to mess up a whole really a whole good relationship that was about as perfect as it could be while doing that and it uh, another thing too is Cosway doesn't exactly appreciate how you know lucky she is to have such a strong guy and she doesn't she just actually finds it kind of resentful whenever it comes to that stuff I, but I really like their bond and I really like how they just interact with each other. So I don't like that too much. And basically it's just them beating up on Muhammad Ali Jr. Because they want to teach him what it's like to put your life on the line for martial arts. And it's not just a sport. that It's real life and it has real life consequences. You got to be able to throw down everything on it. And basically, you know, Baki, you know, just whooping up on him at the end. That's basically the summarization of it. They do all the fights good. They do all the parts of it good. I liked it. But that's. So it kind of ends off on and then we leave off on on Baki basically challenging his father right afterwards and you know him turning 18 being a man finally and Yujiro actually acknowledging that he is actually strong enough to actually possibly give him give him a challenge now which is a huge amount of praise that he's never given anyone else before <laughs> Oh, 
I want to thank JHM Ninja 89 that actually let me know about this because I was actually completely unaware of this as big of Baki fan as I am. I didn't know about this and I thought that they were just making up anime for that didn't wasn't in the original manga because it wasn't in the original manga. I thought they were just making up more prisoner arcs and I thought they were already beat down. I thought a few of them were dead, but they're actually making another story arc on how they basically survived and are able to come back and still assert a bunch of chaos on Baki's world and the tournament and the fight world and underground stuff so i am actually reading in the middle of reading that right now and i recommend that y'all do too so thank you for letting me know about this this is actually going to be a canon thing now it was a side manga piece and i guess those things are might be canon they might not be i don't know but it's now going to be in the anime which is official so i look forward to being able to see that but just in case y'all might have been confused about why they included some sort of prisoner arc afterwards too that's going to be a little side story that's going to probably take place in the next third series where basically it's all going to be about pickle and you know baki rematching with his father and facing oliver and all that stuff so i look forward to that and they also have a really good kind of spooky clip of them laughing that's really really good i i really like the way they set it up right here and i can't wait to see what they do with it We're about to close out with one more good clip, mainly Baki actually trashing Muhammad Ali Jr. in the final fight and challenging his dad. We're going to be playing that clip at the end, so follow through all the way to the end of this clip, to the end of the video. That way you can actually see that last one and get it all in for you. So with that being said, we come to our the end of our review. I cannot wait to get y'all's feedback on this review and what y'all think about the series in general, all y'all's opinions that I mentioned before. Let me know anything that you have to say in the comments. Let's get this party started. I will be discussing everything any comment with anybody so i cannot wait to see what y'all have to say cannot wait and i appreciate y'all smashing that thumbs up button as it really helps out the algorithm and sharing this around with everybody that you know like i said before facebook groups twitter instagram private messaging anyone that you know that likes anime and tell them the exact same thing i ask you to do one more time subscribe hit the bell for notifications and select the all feature have everybody do that and follow me on all my social media platforms like facebook twitter instagram once again links for that in the description and the first comment y'all were awesome thank you for listening to me rant this entire time time y'all are awesome y'all are the best i cannot wait to see what y'all have to say and thank you so much for interacting with me i want this channel you know i want this channel to blow up just like the, my last one did which unfortunately got a whole bunch of copyright bs on it and yeah i'm going to i'm gonna be making a pending lawsuit coming up with youtube and all that stuff so support this one and there will be lots of baki content coming up later i will be posting clips from the uh, uh netflix series and other things that are definitely on it there's also good dragon ball z content USC fight content all sorts of good stuff on there so it's definitely worth your time to check out the rest of the channel i used to do early screen movie movie reviews i get early screening passes so it's definitely whenever they come back i will have the scoops on spoilers and all the good stuff on that for y'all too but that's it thank you for listening to me rant i love each and every one of you and i will see y'all around the way here's this next clip coming up and also make sure you stick around right after that clip to get tabs for other stuff on my channel that I think that y'all will enjoy. Like that you Jira respect that and all that stuff. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see y'all later. Peace out my friends. <laughs> Come on.